Hi, I'm Wayne Faree, and we made a little video on gluing stone together with outdoor epoxy. Uh, the beginning of the film is uh, about a project that I did, which was a, a monument for a dog named Bull. And uh, the gluing process is pretty much explained, but we didn't actually get the actual gluing part filmed. So we spliced in another project where we did gluing so you could understand a complete picture of it. So I hope you enjoy the film. Thank you. And now what we're going to do is we've got a line right down the middle. And the actual uh, carving part of the monument sits on this. So in order to create uh, some stability when we're gluing, I'm going to put glue on this surface. And while the glue is still wet, it's going to be sliding around. There's no way we could possibly keep the top part of the monument from, from sliding off the bottom without having some uh, pins that are, are keyed in. These are just quarter inch pieces of brass or about an inch and a half long. And we're going to drill down halfway. We've got a piece of duct tape marked on our drill so we know how far down to drill. We're going to go halfway in the bottom and halfway in the top. And that will give us our stability when we go to start gluing. Now there may be a, a little bit of structural strength added by the pins, but uh, it's not going to really be enough to, to make a difference. And what we've done is we marked out our holes. Now it's probably not going to be, this is done by hand, it's probably not going to be perfect. There might be some adjusting. Just try to be as perpendicular as possible. And then I usually twist the drill a little bit uh, just to give me a little more room. Now you can see that this one is off to this side. So I've got to come in with my hole a little more this way. This one needs to be just a tad deeper. So when I was drilling, I wasn't quite perpendicular. I was probably more on an angle. That's why I wobble out the holes a little bit to give me some slack. There, that's pretty good. Well, we drilled in to the bottom of the top of the monument, and we've matched the setting of these brass pins. So we've just taken a quarter inch drill bit and went down to the same uh, depth that we did on the other ones. We have an inch and a half brass pin and that should be pretty good. We'll test it just before we glue it and then we'll uh, also film that part of the project and then we're going to be done. Okay, here we are uh, with pretty close to the finished product. Now what we've done is we've inserted our brass pins. We just want to make sure that everything fits before we prepare our glue and glue this together because once this is glued, that's it. There's no, there's no changing it, there's no moving it. So what we've got here is a couple of pieces of cardboard in here so that when we sat this down, we didn't want to accidentally chip a corner uh, limestone is very soft and brittle. Uh, it's a great building stone and it'll last for, for decades, centuries, if it's done properly. Uh, out in the weather, there's not much that's going to damage it. Water is the main thing. So what we're doing is we're going to take a pencil mark and go all around here so that we know where we're going to put our tape. We're going to tape this off with, uh, with Gorilla Tape. This is Gorilla Tape. It really sticks well. We don't want to mess around uh, with cheap tape. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to mask this off. We're going to mask off all around the top of the monument and the bottom of the monument so that we don't get glue on something. 
And we can remove the glue, but there's a lot of sanding involved, and it's not worth the... You're better off taking the precautions. Okay, we're ready to glue up our project. And in this instance, we're using superior epoxy. Part A and Part B. It's a knife grade epoxy. You want knife grade, which means it's it's going to be like the consistency of, oh, say, peanut butter. Now we've got our project masked off, so we don't actually get glue on it. And we're going to, and also, it's a good idea to use a regular paint can opener because these glues are, are pretty expensive, and uh, you don't want to damage the lid. You want to keep the lid in good shape so when you're ready to use it again you're not prying it off with a screwdriver and bending it up. So we're going to mix this up, put the glue on and set this. After a while you get to, to, to know how much glue you're going to need. You don't want to waste glue. Uh, by the same token you don't want to under mix and then find out that you don't have enough glue, which is even a bigger problem. So it's better to waste a little than to not have enough glue. That's going to be a killer for your project. Uh, after you've glued enough things together, you're going to have an idea of what you're going to need to get the project done. Now, a good thing to have is rags, good clean rags, sort of a stiff type material. You have some clothes that you're thinking about throwing away and instead of giving to a Salvation Army or something, cut them up into squares. They're coming very handy. Okay, we've got pretty much an equal portion of glue. And we're going to mix it up. Okay, first things first, we've got to get glue up into these holes. And we also have to put glue into this hole. And this glue gets awfully messy. Okay, it's about time to set this puppy down. Okay, it's all over but the shouting and the sticky fingers. Well, as long as we've got this up in the air, to give you a look at what the finished product is going to look like. So you've seen the gluing process and I hope we explained it so you could understand it. Uh, you use outdoor epoxies and they're available. Get online, uh, just search exterior stone epoxy and there's many different products that are available uh, for use in that, in that area.